I'm going to check on Adam. Like hell you are. I'll check on Adam. When it suits you and when it fits into your schedule. I know what my husband needs. I am his wife. Well, then start acting like it. Well, what's going on here? Ah, uh, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> what? Well, Rook seems to think you might be at death's door or something. Oh. <sighs> wow. <laughs> you know what you're like? You're like a kid who's sneaking out of class to go buy some forbidden sweets. Forced into it by you and those evil doctors? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, no, 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 no desserts, no scotch. I might as well be dead. Well, you will be if you keep on like <laughs> no, this. No, 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 no. I'm a very good boy. I did. I deserve a little treat. All right. I won't tell. Mm. You know, um, I am sorry about what happened today. About letting Annie see how concerned I was about you. I. But I promise you, I have not said a word to anybody about your health condition. I know. It's just hard to know when to step in. You know, I'm the only one who really knows just how sick you are. Yeah, well, you step in any time you want. It's nice to know somebody with nothing to gain actually cares about you. <laughs> well, come on, Annie. You can't be afraid of Brooke stealing my father away. They're just old friends. And old lovers and ex-spouses, but... Who's counting? You are, I guess. You saw the way she reacted when she found out he overslept. That's not normal. Yeah, exes can be friends. It doesn't mean they have to jump right back into bed or back into mortal combat with each other. They don't want to indict you, Annie. They want to commend you. For saving my life. That is the traditional route. Well, people change, and so do their feelings about the people that they've loved over years. Or hated. You're not just talking about Adam and Brooke, are you? Take it however you want. The door's open. If you are still trying to convince me that you have transformed your opinion of me... Sorry, JR. I'm not buying it. You know, Annie, I just don't have it in me to offer you the olive branch anymore. If you don't want it, that's on you. That is not exactly no, what, what I said. Whatever. I've got bigger battles than trying to pummel you into being my friend. I'm sorry if, if it's a little bit hard to accept. You know what? I, I, I can't deal with this right now. I'm a little freaked out about the whole idea of, of speaking before Congress. You know what? I, seriously, I'm, I can't do it. I'm sorry. You're going to have to tell them my answer is no. They don't want to indict you, Annie. They want to commend you. For saving my life. All I needed was taste. Mm-hmm. Oh. You look tired. Oh, I just, uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because Jamie called just as I was dozing off. Is everything all right? Oh, fine, fine, great, in fact. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just the, um, you know, the time difference makes for... Odd hour phone calls, that's all. What is it, Brooke? What's wrong? <laughs> Everything. Feeling? Pretty lousy, but not terrible. It's more of a piglet flu than full-blown swine. Well, I've, uh, I've got great news. Annie and I got invited to D.C. to speak on bone marrow donations. Wow, that's incredible. I, I'm not so crazy about the idea of you leaving the house, though. I won't do it until my doctors say that it's okay. And besides, I'm not even sure if we're going to go yet. You know what? I have to go. That's the congressman's office on the other line right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, hello? Yeah, yes, we, we were just discussing this, but uh, we're going to have to get right back to you. Okay? All right. They want to know if we're going to do this thing. Why are they pushing so hard for an answer? I don't know. It's the Congress. they got a lot to schedule. Uh, the thought of Congress and lawyers and being in front of all those cameras. Just... All those cameras are the reason why we have to do this. I mean, you're, you're promoting awareness for the national database. You're celebrating people who help others. 
Just like you helped me. Come on, Annie. This is a lot bigger than your stage fright. This is about saving people's lives. From the way you're describing this, you sound a little lost. Well, you know, I mean, the kids are great. They, they really are. It's just that I, um, you know, I never, I never really get a chance to see them because Jamie's in Africa and Laura's in China and, you know, I hardly ever hear from her. From what I remember of Laura, from her, no news is usually good news. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. If she had a problem, my phone would be ringing off the wall. So, what's really bothering you? I guess I'm just looking, you know, down the road to the next thing. You know, being back here, I think it's sort of unleashed this dormant, empty nest syndrome. I mean, that's why I, I'm so, you know, happy to be back at Tempo. I really am because I, I, I feel like, you know, it's going to fill this big, empty hole. Yeah. I'm blathering on. No, no, you don't blather. You're too remarkable a woman for that. You, you are a wonderful mother who's raised two great children. Even though they may not require as much feeding and care as my offspring do. <laughs> oh, is that why they still live with you? <laughs> because they're hothouse flowers, or is it just because <laughs> you cannot bear to let them go? Are you calling me a control freak? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? I wouldn't be so presumptuous as to do that. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to apologize again for getting so upset in front of Annie because oh. you overslept. Yeah. No, it's already forgotten. As a matter of fact, I, I had the best night's sleep I've had in weeks. <laughs> and great dreams, too. What were they? Well, I don't... I can't quite remember. Um, I, I just know that I woke up happier than I've been in a long, long time. Adam? Uh, what is it? Hey. How you feeling? Mm, very fluish right now. You know, I'm thinking that I'll just go stay at the yacht club. Oh, no, no worries. We've all had our H1N1 shots. This is the perfect place for you to recover. I really, really appreciate it. You know, you've made such a nice home here. For Jenny and Kathy and for Opal, <laughs> even for Damon. And now here I am, another orphan for you to take care of. You deserve a lot of credit. Oh, maybe some people think so. In fact, you made it so nice here. I feel even more like I've abandoned JR. Oh, listen, staying away from JR is the best thing that you could do for him. Right I know, now. I know, I know. And, and things seem to have quieted down there a bit. I think he's even trying to bury the hatchet with Annie. All right. I'm going to call the congressman's office and let them know this thing is on. Okay. Okay. I am going to find something to wear. All right. Hello, Congressman Wilton. This is J.R. Chandler. I just wanted to let you know that my stepmother, Annie Chandler, will appear in front of the committee. And, and so will I, as long as my doctor agrees. I also just wanted to say thank you for doing this favor for my family. I realize you didn't intend on having any witnesses, but uh, this helps out a lot. And just make sure that you don't tell my stepmother that this was all my idea. <laughs> <laughs>